we start by preparing to get the soil back off the ground. I'm using pieces of firewood here, but you can use the brick, stone, whatever you have. And the sole purpose of this is to get this soil back up and off the ground. This will make it harder for any ground dwelling bugs and insects to actually access and uh, hurt our crops. And it will also make sure that whatever drains from here will be removed from the soil bag and the soil bag won't sit in uh, wet. Next, we get our tape, just like this one here. And what we want to do now is that we want to Just like so. And the reason we do this is that later, as we open up, as we open up the soil bag, if we don't have something to help to keep its shape, it will kind of spill over and you will get folds and cracks in the soil and you will have exposed seeds and what have you. So this just helps us to get the soil bag to, to stay in the shape that we want it even after we have planted. Before we turn the uh, soil bag around, we're going to do approximately 10 drainage holes. And we do this by just using a regular knife and we just make holes like so. I'm not actually counting here, so I guess I could end up with more than 10. All we want to do here is to make sure that we have enough holes in the bottom of the, of the soil bag for water to escape in case it rains and what have you. Next, we turn the soil bag around to get some help. This is, can be a bit heavy, so you have to help if you need it. And we just, we just flatten it out a bit to make sure that we get uh, the soil somewhat evenly distributed. Now, before we uh, proceed to, to, to cut into the soil bag to plant our seeds, we have to decide how many rows of lettuce we're going to plant. Um, in this size bag, and the same for if, if it would have been a 40 litre bag, I do uh, three rows. So I would place maybe one part here, one in the center, and one like part here. So what I do here is that I just make a mark for myself, and then just using this mark, I See here, it would be about here. Not that a mark would have been perfect if I was left-handed, but I just go cut across like this, and I open it up slightly. And I cut off some of this plastic. It doesn't need to be completely even but you want to expose some of the soil here as it will make it easier for you when you plant. Now what we have here, and you can see here now that the soil keeps together pretty well and that is one of the reasons here is that we put the plastic on before so it doesn't kind of fall open. And, and before we do anything else we need to moisten this soil. As you can see it's quite dry I don't usually water this much, but uh, I could see that this soil, one reason or another, was quite uh, dry. Okay, so we've come this far now, as you can see, I've already started. We, we, we make a slight indentation here into the soil. I mean, let the seeds only need to be like half a centimeter, or was that a quarter inch deep? So you don't really need to go very deep but when we have had when we have here good row that we're happy with I'm just again going to slightly pre-water it here and I'm gonna let that sink in and uh, I'll be back in a few secs Planting the seeds themselves is quite straightforward. 
just get a bunch out that's left and now yeah, just sprinkle them. I typically overseed uh, a bit as you can see but then again I thin out the plants later on as needed and any uh, baby lettuce that I can harvest is of course delicious to eat so it's not a problem. Now when I when I planted the seeds and then as you can see we just cover the seeds lightly with a thin layer of, uh, of soil just like so and when done make sure that all seeds are covered and then we water one final time. All that's left to do now is to cover the bag with uh, fiber cloth or like a floating row cover and uh, leave it in place. Then we put the soil bag where we want it. Um, you don't want lettuce to grow in a place that is too warm. Uh, I mean anything about 20 degrees Celsius, Celsius uh, we say 68 Fahrenheit or so, uh, and the lettuce will bolt. So what's good about lettuce is that it will grow just great in partial shade, so you can save your full sun spots for tomatoes, peppers, eggplants, aubergines, what have you. And um, as I promised you earlier in the video, this was about having lettuce all summer long. Now, when you start seeing uh, seeds sprout and you're seeing first leaves, what you do is that you start again by opening up the second row, right about here. You go through the same procedure and you, you plant a whole new row. You cover it with fiber cloth and then when you see first leaves here, you open up the third row. By the time you do that, these will all be harvested. You can then choose to uh, actually revitalize this soil by adding compost or what have you and just go another time uh, for, for another round of lettuce and it will work just great. So this is a great way to keep lettuce on your table all season long. So uh, if you like this video, uh, please like and subscribe to the channel. It would mean a lot and uh, I hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.